A convertible SUV does sound like a platypus on four wheels. But back in the day, this form factor was widely popular among the consumers. Today we'll try to breathe new life into the segment of off-roady open-top vehicles by reviewing the best models currently in production. Moreover, through the lens of the most exciting customer restoration projects, we'll look into the past history of this class. Before we get to the video, subscribe to Automotive Territory to always get notified about our reviews of exotic vehicles. Enjoy the ride! Ford Bronco The Bronco nameplate returns after a 25-year-long hiatus to disrupt dominance of the Jeep Wrangler. It gets legit body-on-frame construction, standard 4x4 drive, and adventure-ready two- or four-door designs. Since the first edition was sold out, the lineup includes six trims, from the base to the fully equipped wild track, which is reserved for the high-speed off-roading. The standard 2.3-liter inline four-cylinder EcoBoost brings to the trails impressive 270 horsepower. But the optional 2.7-liter EcoBoost V6 is projected to produce the best-in-class 310 horses and 400 pound-feet. The model is available with the segment's first 7-speed manual or a 10-speed automatic transmission with unique crawl gears. Among the Bronco's highlights are two 4x4 systems with unique terrain management system with GOAT modes, heavy-duty suspension, wheels, and rugged 30 through 33-inch tires. Hummer EV SUV The modular platform of the new Hummer allows it to expand the number of body styles beyond the originally presented pickup truck. The SUV modification will hit the roads in 2024 with a 9 inches shorter wheelbase to improve off-road maneuverability. To let you experience open-air driving, the model gets a removable infinity roof. It consists of four transparent panels and an eye bar above the front passengers, and it is easily stowed away in the front trunk. The power system is represented by two or three electric motors. There is a large Altium battery, up to 200 kWh in capacity, and four-wheel drive. Depending on the model, the output reaches 625 or 830 horses. Four-wheel steering with crab walk, adjustable air suspension that can raise the SUV by 6 inches and super cruise tack are also in place. The cabin looks upscale, packs a 12.3 inches driver's display and a 13.4 inch infotainment. Volkswagen T-Roc Capriolet with the majority of its rivals discontinued, this Volkswagen model claims the title of the only currently mass-produced Cabriolet SUV with a true power top. To achieve a genuine open-air experience, the crossover got rid of the rear pillars and adopted a two-door design with a fabric roof that fully folds back in just 9 seconds. The two available engine options include a 1.0-liter turbo 3-cylinder and a 1.5-liter turbo 4 with 110 and 150 horsepower respectively. With the larger one, the Steerock takes 9.2 seconds to speed to 60, and it can reach 127 miles per hour. As standard, the SUV suspension is retuned to offer a sportier feel and better handling, especially at corners. The young nature of the T-Rock is further reflected in the modern 10.25-inch high-definition display, digital dashboard, optional 400-watt six-speaker Beats audio system, and two-zone electronic air conditioning. This video was sponsored by the like button, so make sure to inflate its value by giving it a proper smash. Thanks for your support, and let's get back to it! Defender 110 Project Prevail ECD Auto Design are operating from the United States but they are still passionate about the vehicles that originate from the homeland of their British founders. The restored 1990s Defenders in both short 90 and long 110 bodies are the specialty of this workshop. Among those, the Project Prevail caught our attention with its custom soft top and bespoke interior. This SUV is no longer restrained by the outdated engine. Instead, 430 horsepower are generated by the 6.2-liter LS3 V8 that exhales through a raucous Borla performance exhaust and is controlled via a six-speed automatic. The custom ECD two-way air suspension stands behind the improved ride comfort. 
while rougher road patches can be conquered with the help of 18-inch sawtooth black wheels wrapped in BF Goodrich all-terrain tires. The Defender Prevail can carry up to 9 people that will enjoy leather upholstery, premium JBL audio and full smartphone connectivity. Jeep Wrangler 4XE This Jeep is one of the few SUVs that is immediately associated with the soft top and has been continuously offered in this modification for 70 years. The most technological Wrangler of today is a plug-in hybrid 4XE that puts to work a 375 horsepower powertrain that consists of a 2-liter gasoline engine, a 17 kWh battery with 25 miles potential, and two electric motors. The SUV gets regenerative braking and offers three driving modes – hybrid, electric, and e-safe that prioritizes the internal combustion. It also keeps the usual fully mechanical four-wheel drive, can ford 30-inch deep waters, and even improves approach and departure angles to 44 and 35.6 degrees. Just as the regular Wrangler, the Forex E can be equipped with a variety of roof options, including a soft top, a three-piece hardtop, or a power-operated Sky One Touch roof. Ford Bronco by Velocity Restorations The all-new Bronco is a solid buy for the drivers seeking an adventurous vehicle. But anyone ready to spend cash on a true collector's item should look into the stock of the Florida-based Velocity Restorations. The biggest Ford Bronco buffs in America are selling classic models of the 1966 through 1977, restored to the mint condition or optionally enhanced with the modern comforts and supercharged power. Among the most impressive modifications is the installation of a 5.0-liter Coyote V8 crate engine that could be additionally force-fed by a Whipple 2.9-liter supercharger. Further upgrades include but not limited to JW speaker LED headlights, raised suspension, new bumpers, new axles front and rear, performance exhaust, and custom paint. As for the fully reimagined interior, it features high-grade Italian leathers, kicker sound system, vintage air AC system, and digital instrumentation. Range Rover Evo Convertible the roofless version of the subcompact crossover was aimed to further capture the attention of young, carefree buyers who otherwise would have overlooked Range Rover's traditional executive SUVs. In addition to replacing the roof with a power-operated soft top that drops in 18 seconds at speeds up to 30 miles per hour, the model received a classic two-door design. This Evoque was primarily sold in higher trims, so each model comes with 18-inch wheels, leather upholstery, large 10.2-inch infotainment with set navigation, Wi-Fi hotspots, and Meridian sound system. Under the hood, the Evo Cabrio has a stock 2.0-liter turbocharged inline-four engine that produces 237 horsepower and 251 pound-feet of torque, transferred to all four corners via the 9-speed ZF automatic. Sadly, after failing to generate significant sales volumes, this Cabrio was axed in 2019 after just two years in production. Mercedes-Benz G650 Lantelay After just four years since its debut, the G650 Lantelay has become as coveted as a Bugatti Veyron and its price almost tripled. The 99 units limited production SUV is based on a G-Wagon that was stretched by almost 23 inches. The driver and the front passenger are accommodated under a regular closed roof, while the rear passengers can enjoy a convertible soft top that is retracted at the push of a button. The interior boasts a full Maybach treatment, including first-class seats with massage function, individual 10-inch monitors for each rear passenger, and temperature-controlled cup holders. Additionally, the rear seats can be separated from the front row by a retractable electrically operated glass partition. Finally, the power comes from the Mercedes-AMG V12 by Turbo that outputs 621 horsepower and 738 pound-feet of torque. Land Cruiser Icon FG40 Roadster Presented at the 2017 SEMA show, this built by the Los Angeles shop Icon is based on the beloved FG40 generation Toyota Land Cruiser that was produced in 1960s. 
Still as rugged as the original, the truck loses all doors and windows, while its metal roof is replaced by a piece of fabric that can be removed when needed. Under the skin, it also hides plenty of thought-out treatments. The Art Morrison chassis features front and rear curry anti-rock sway bars, while handling is ensured by Fox Racing shocks and Brembo brakes. The Roadster gets custom-built Dana 60 rear and Dana 44 front axle with optional air-locking differentials. The Roadster has no heating or AC, but it does offer heated seats and smartphone connectivity. Finally, this 4x4 truck swaps the original engine for the latest 6.2-liter GMV8 that produces 430 horsepower and 450 pound-feet of torque. Mitsubishi MiTech Production models by Mitsubishi rarely manage to impress with striking designs and surprising features. But the situation is entirely different for their concepts. The MiTech 2 seat Roadster SUV was one of the highlights of the 2019 Tokyo Motor Show. Back in the day, it previewed the next generation of the Mitsubishi Signature Dynamic Shield design. This vehicle received an electrified powertrain that explores the concept of an onboard generator. The lithium-ion battery located under the floor is paired to the compact gas turbine engine generator that can run on diesel, kerosene and alcohol. Each of the wheels is spun by its own electric motor, so the car has true 4x4 drive and can perform 180-degree turns. The MiTech previewed Mi Pilot Driver's Assistance System with off-road mode and an augmented reality windshield display like those found on modern jet fighters. Mercedes-Benz G250D Wolf Despite the fact that the current G-Class does not look much different from its predecessors, the true fans of rugged 4x4s still prefer its unbeatable, military-grade versions. Among such enthusiasts are the Connecticut-based Legacy Overland, who created this comprehensive restoration of the 1990 W461.4, also known as the G-Wagon Wolf. Rebuilt from the ground up, the SUV keeps its stock 2.5-liter 5-cylinder diesel made it to a 5-speed gearbox. The original 2-speed transfer case as well as the manual locking differentials are here as well. The suspension system has many of the OEM parts untouched, but it is assisted by the new Bilstein shocks. To make this G-Wagon more suitable for civilian use, Legacy Overland also installed new LED lights, rebuilt the dash, added custom air conditioning and reupholstered the interior in full crane leather. What do you think about the convertible SUVs? Would you like to see more of them on the roads? Let's talk this over in the comments below and make sure to mention your favorites. Consider supporting our channel by smashing the like button and buying one of the spring t-shirts through the links below the video. Subscribe to Automotive Territory and as always, may the torque be with you!